Hi, class. Can you see me? Can you hear me? Yes, we can see you and can hear you. Good, good evening, yes. teacher. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay, I just want to make sure everybody can hear me and see me. Yes, is that correct? Yes, I can see you. I can hear you, teacher. Okay, perfect. In that case, excellent. I'm happy to hear to know that everybody can hear me. Okay, guys, first of all, welcome to today's class. How are you today? Fine. A little tired. Mm -hmm. Really? You're tired on a Monday? Oh, no. How, how was your weekend? Was it very tiring? Is that why you're tired? I was working on weekend, Saturday and Sunday, because I'm starting a new project of work, and there are a lot of work uh, that we can do in this in this in this day. Oh, okay, I understand. So you were working Saturday as well. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. I understand. It's it's difficult. It's hard, but I'm glad that you, even though you are, um, that you're tired, you were able to connect with us. Okay. All right. Um, let me see. Um, okay, we're gonna give a few minutes there for the people to uh, to come in. Okay, all right, guys. Uh, well, we have almost like the majority. Well, not the majority, but we have um, quite a few people. How was your weekend, everybody? My weekend was good, teacher. Thank you. What about you? Good. My weekend was good too. Um, I was able to relax. I was able to do some things I needed to do. So I'm happy. I was, um, yeah, it was a good, it was a good weekend. Yeah. And um, what about the rest of you? Anything, anybody did something interesting? Something um, exciting on the weekend? Nobody? Really, nobody did anything exciting on the weekend. All bore, boring weekend. <laughs> Not quite like hookup. You see, we can see. <clears throat> really? Okay. H how about this? How many people had to work on the weekend? Did you have to work? Me. You and did as well? I played soccer on Saturday, on Saturday. Saturday. And I worked on Sunday. Oh, you, were, you, you played on Saturday and worked on Sunday. Okay. Yes. Well, at least you had a chance to work, sorry, to, to play a little bit and have fun, right? That's the important thing. Okay, good. But, okay. Um, how many people have the weekend completely off that you are not, you don't have to work at all? <laughs> no, everybody has to work on the weekends? No, <laughs> I'm not. I'm not work. I went to the beach. Oh, nice, nice. <laughs> wow, look at you. Okay. Uh, what what beach did you go? To? Uh, La Libertad. 
Ambras la libertad. And was it very full? I I went to the house house beach. I don't see the other place, but um, the traffic is very very. I don't know how do you say heavy. Right, right. I understand. Yeah, it was a heavy traffic. Okay. Yes, yes. Oh, well, even with the heavy traffic, though, I think I wouldn't mind going to the beach. That would be very great. <laughs> yeah, that sounds great. Thanks. Okay, yeah. Um, so, class, um, all right, uh, question. Um, everybody everybody saw my message and everybody did the homework? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. Okay, good, 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 good. Excellent. I'm glad to. And I have one more question. Were you all able to go into the platform and work on the platform? Yes. Yes, teacher. Teacher, in the homework is in the platform. No, 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 no. Um, the homework it was a part. Like you had to do the homework in in the in the notebook, but of course you have to, you have to work in the in the platform because that's part of the your your grade, right? So so definitely you have to make sure that you are um, that you are working in the platform. In fact, um, at this moment you have enough information to be able to finish half of um you of uh, section number two so you should be already on section two everybody has been working on section two now yes teacher yes yes sorry did someone say only section one yeah me teacher i'm i'm work just section one but I gonna do the section two, I think Wednesday. Okay, good. I what I, I want what I hope is that by um, yeah, Tuesday, Wednesday, somewhere around there, you should already be finished section number two. So you have um, until then to be able to finish because the idea is that by Monday of next week, so we have one more week. By Monday of next week, you will be able to um, uh, finish not only section three, but also the the midterm. The midterm is the the remember the the test in the middle, right? So of the of, of the course. So you should be finished section one, section two, section three and the midterm so we should have four things finished by next monday okay understood okay. teacher any questions thank you phone? teacher i know teacher okay good 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 okay so what we're going to do right now we're going to do a review of um what we have learned in the previous classes or better so the previous class um, just a quick review so that you um, that you understand perfectly um, how, how we can work on this uh, we, I, I gave you some examples in last class and the idea is that with those examples you were able to do the exercise for homework however I'm going to um, show I'm going to be presenting to you the information so that it's easier for you to understand it. Okay, so just give me a second. Tell me 
if you can see the PowerPoint presentation. Let me know when you can see it. No, yet, teacher. Oh, right now, it's okay. Yes, it's right okay. now, we can see. I can Ready, see. Mm -hmm. Albert, I can Juan. see the presentation. Juan. Perfect. Okay, good. Just give me a second. I'm just trying to make this a little smaller so that you can have a little bit bigger Teacher. point of view. Yeah. Teacher, go to the Vista menu. Sorry? Váyase al menú Vista. Ahí arriba, en la cinta de, de menú. Está inicio, insertar, diseño, transparencias, animaciones, y casi al final está Vista. Creo que también con F5 puede hacerlo sí. grande. Ah, pues que está en la normal. Yo pensé que para desactivarle que no le apareciera esa, esa opción. Ah, ahí está. Es, es que lo que pasa es de que um, no lo pongo completo porque eh, por alguna razón cuando lo pongo completo se distorsiona. Eh, la imagen entonces okay. porque ya, ya uh -huh. les, voy a, les voy a mostrar y, y tan, ustedes... también teacher al final en la cinta al final tiene como un signo de potencia arriba del scroll, del scroll. ahí lo puede hacer para que se minimice en la cinta también ¿a dónde? Va, váyase a la barra del scroll a la derecha y váyase a la flechita que está hasta arriba Y arribita tiene como un signo de potencia. Más a la derecha, más a la derecha, teacher. Derecha, derecha, casi al final. Y abajito, abajito ahí, antes de llegar a la barra de scroll. Ahí, ahí, justo ahí. Dale un clic ahí. No, ahí justo en el botoncito que dice contraer. Y ahí le va, se lo va a reducir y eso le va a dar un poquito más de espacio también. Ahí dele clic, ahí está. Ok. ¿Y lo pueden ver bien? Yo ahorita yes, veo. Teacher, in this moment, yes. Ok. All right, perfect. Excellent. Thank you. All right. You're welcome. So, <laughs> ok, so, um, all right, so we have here um, the English Intermediate One, which is our course. And um, your facilitator, you know, is uh, Ms. Uh, Jessica Guerrero. Um, it's day number five now, and today is Monday, February 1st, 2021. Can you imagine we already said bye to the first month of the year? It's amazing, but it's going by really, really quickly. Okay, and so our topic today is adverbs of quantity, okay? That's what we're going to be looking at in this section, okay? Uh, well, actually, we've been looking at this for, for some time now. Okay, so um, so we're going to move on to the first part. This is something that we already saw, but I just wanted to make sure that you understood it. Uh, we saw that with count nouns, we use words like too many, fewer, more, and enough, right? And we saw that with non-count nouns, we use too much, less, more, and isn't enough okay so too much or sorry too many is for count nouns too much is for non-count nouns now what this means is that there is more than necessary that's what it means okay so whatever it is that you are talking about you have more of it than is necessary and i think i gave you um some examples last class uh, for example let's say that um uh, well let, let's imagine we were in let's imagine that we were in the classroom okay we're not having a virtual class we're having uh we are in the classroom and imagine there are 
well, let's say that there are 22 students, but it, there are 40 desks in the class. Now, if there are 22 students and 40 desks, that's, that's much more than is necessary. In that case, we're going to say there are too many desks, right? Um, in the case that uh, we're not talking about desks, but we're talking about something that is, uh, we can't count it. Um, for example, we can say that um, there is, um, mm, let's say uh, you're Let's say you are you you are drinking six liters of water, then you are there is there are, you are drinking too much water, water. too much, right? Okay, too and then that's not good. That's like it's more than is necessary. You're supposed to be drinking between two to three liters of water. That's what's recommended, right? Uh, depending on your activity and the place where you live. Uh, but no more. You shouldn't be drinking six liters of water. So that's too much. Okay. And we talked about that fewer is uh, for countables and less is for count is for non countables. It means the same thing. The only difference is that one's for count nouns, the other one is for non count nouns. Now the nice thing about more is that more can be used for count nouns and nor and non count nouns. So that one doesn't really make a difference. You can, you don't have to worry about that one. Now, it, when you're talking about in, in not enough, it means that there is not sufficient, that there is lacking something. And for count nouns, we always use the plural. So you say aren't enough. And for non-count, we use isn't enough. Okay, because it's, since we can't count them, then we use um we, then we use sorry, since we the noun counts cannot be counted <laughs> um like we say in spanish valga la redundancia um we can uh we can't plur put this in the plural it's always going to be a, in the um a singular form so isn't enough and it, it means that there's that it's not sufficient right so examples there are too many cars there is too much traffic there should be fewer cars. There should be less traffic, uh, pollution, sorry. We need more subway lines. We need more public transportation. There aren't enough buses. There isn't enough parking. And so the structure, okay, so this is, this is in general. Now let's start first of all with the word enough. Okay, we're gonna start with enough. We're gonna start from here at the bottom. So we're going to say, for example, there, we're always going to start with there, and then we're going to be using aren't, because I told you this is the count nouns, right? So there aren't, and then we have enough, and then we have whatever the count noun is. For example, there aren't enough buses, there are enough police officers, there aren't enough parks. So notice that all of these are plural forms. Any questions about that so far? Parts of no teacher. No teacher. It's very clear. Okay, perfect. All right, since it's pretty clear, we're going to move on to the next part. Oh, sorry, did somebody have a question? No teacher. Okay, all right. So now let's look at the um, the other the other thing. We can also use should, for example. So we have subject plus should plus the verb, whatever the verb is, and the verb um, can be any verb, but you have to put it in the base form. So this verb over here is going to be in the base form, just like over here. There should be more fewer cars you don't say there should is or there should are okay you're gonna say there should be there should be fewer cars there should be less pollution so you're going to use the verb in the base form notice be it's always going to be be not is not are not was not were it's going to be be and then we're either going to use fewer if it's countable and or, or you can use like for example more 
if it's countable too, right? Um, and then the count now, okay, whatever it is. Okay. Example, there should be fewer cars. We should have more police officers. Okay, so the notice here is the subject is there or we. Then we have the should. Then the verb can be be or have or any verb at all that you want. And then we either use more or we use um, okay. um, sorry, I'm just reading your 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 message, Gofail. That's fine. Don't worry about it. But thank you for letting me know. Okay, so anyway, um, we either use more or fewer, right? It, but this is only for count nouns. Like cars, we can count cars. We can say two cars, three cars, 10 cars, 20 cars. We can count police officers, okay? Um, so we can say, you know, three police officers or 10 police officers or um, five police officers, etc., etc. We can also use the word need, okay? And this works the same way, right? So we need, the need is, therefore, this is the verb. We don't have anything over here because need is the verb. Okay, so we don't put any model auxiliary here. So we need more subway lines. Okay, so that subway lines is the count noun. Any questions about that so far? I have one, teacher. Okay, all right, go ahead, ask me. Okay, when the, I use a verse of quantity, when I use the verb be or have, I use should, but uh, when I use other verb, I don't use should. Is, uh, is it correct? No, not necessarily. Um, you can use be and you can use have. You can other use other verbs. But it doesn't make sense if I say, for example, we should need. That doesn't make sense. Should means okay. that uh, uh, with the verb need is an exception. But so when the verb is not necessary, this should because uh, the mean of the verb is is, uh, is is very specific for we need. Yeah, um, it should means that it's a good idea. So really, don't, it doesn't make sense to say it's a it's a good idea that we need. Okay. Right. That doesn't make sense. Okay. So that's perfect. why we wouldn't use it. But we can use we can use should with many many different verbs. It's not just be or have. These are just some examples. Normally you're going to be using with be or have, but it's not exclusive. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Teacher. Yeah. Maybe you uh, <laughs> the, in in español voy a decir. <laughs> Tal vez el compañero Maximiliano puede apagar el micrófono. Oh, okay. Thank you. Um, yeah, so, sorry guys, I, I, um, I'm actually, in, since I'm, I'm, uh, you know, working on this, I, sometimes I do not pay attention which ones are, which uh, microphones can be open. So if you could just do me the favor of, um, just be careful, being careful, you know, how your microphone is, um, you know, I understand sometimes we forget and that's okay. That's okay. Um, okay. And uh, thank you, Manuel Alberto for connecting. Um, even though I know that you're, you're busy, you're driving, just be careful. Don't, don't, um, don't have an accident. Okay. But yeah, that's fine. That's fine. I, I really appreciate that you, that you're responsible enough to be connected. Really, really appreciate that. Thank you. Okay, so anyway, um, with this, uh, like I said, this is only with count nouns. Fewer and more are with count nouns. Now, it's different with uh, less. We, less and more could be the same as well, right? So I could just change this for fewer and so fewer, it would be less, right? Uh, but then in this case, it would not be a count nouns, it would be non-count nouns, where it's like pollution, right? So we could say there should be less 
pollution. There should be more, um, there should be more clean water, example, something like that, okay? So, because water we cannot count, okay? Does that make sense for everybody? Yes. yes, teacher, for example, is, uh, there should be less violence, for example. Absolutely, that's a very good idea. Um, yes, violence, you cannot count violence, right? You can't say uh, there is, you know, there are five violences, can't do that, right? So yes, it's non-count, therefore you would use, uh, you would use less. Yes, very good, very, very good. Okay, let's move on to the next part. Um, using too much or, you know, or, or enough, okay? So here we have this, the subject, and then we have the verb. The verb is going to be always is or isn't if it, we're talking about non-counts, okay? So there is or there isn't. That's the only possibility with this one. Then we either use too much. Remember, too much means more than is necessary. And, and uh, enough means not sufficient. Okay, so there is not sufficient. That's not enough. And then here we have the non-count the non now. Example. There is too much traffic. Traffic is impossible to count. We can't say there are five, six, seven traps for traffics, so it's not possible. Therefore, um, you would um, you would only use um, there is, okay, or there isn't, right? Uh, there is too much pollution. Pollution again can't count it. So you say there is too much, too much more than necessary. Uh, of course, I mean, pollution, I mean, not, not that pollution is ever necessary, but it's, it's inevitable, right? You, you, there's going to be pollution in the city. But if there's too much, it means that's more than there should be. And then we have there isn't enough, right? Here we're making it negative. And um, so you're saying that means that there, there isn't sufficient parking. Okay, we can't. Parking is uncountable as well. So far, so good. Any questions? It's clear. I have a question. Teacher, okay. when you use the adverb enough, you can use in positive form. Um, yes, but remember, um, here it's negative, right? So, um, you're using not enough. There is enough means there is sufficient, but normally when we're talking about problems, you're saying it's not sufficient because if you just say there, there is enough, you're saying, oh, it's sufficient. Then there's not a problem. But if you are talking about a problem in, in, a, in a city, you're going to have to say that there, the, there is not sufficient, right? So that's why you would say not enough or isn't enough. Does that make sense? Yes, thank you. Okay, good. So I hope it's clear that yes, it's possible, but if you're talking about a problem, then you would say not enough, okay? Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right, and then the last explanation is the one we have here. Um, so, uh, remember, so we have here, there should be less, okay? That's the one we, we talked a little bit about before. Um, Actually, I should have put this one a little bit higher up. I'm sorry. I, I, I switched around the, <laughs> the order. So anyways, um, here we're going to be using the subject. Then we use should. The verb, like I explained before, is going to be 
in the base form. You're not going to put is or are or was or were or am. It's going to always be uh, the verb in the base form. So in this case, be. Okay. And then in this case, we're going to be using less or we can use more. Okay. Uh, remember that more can be used for countable or uncountable, so it doesn't really matter. And here we have the non-count noun. Example, pollution or violence or parking or noise etc etc so we could say there should be less pollution there should be less noise there should be less park no sorry less parking no <laughs> there should always be more parking um there should be less um in, um what else noise public sorry uh, there should no. be sorry no Sorry, I didn't hear you very well. Love. Amor. Oh, okay. Um, okay, but the only thing is with love, you, you want more love. You don't want less love. So probably, we could be say, for example, it could be the opposite. We can maybe say there should be less hate in the world, right? Debería haber menos odio en el, en el mundo. Right? So that could, that could be something, right? That we want less of. Okay? So does that make sense for everybody? Yes. Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay. So what we're going to do then um, in this moment, I'm going to stop sharing. Can I, can I stop sharing? Everybody in the census? Teacher, I can hear you. You can repeat, please. Yes. No. I was just gonna. I was just saying that I was going to um, stop sharing. Okay. So what I'm gonna do right now? I asked um, everybody in the chat, in the WhatsApp group, to make sentences about problems about living in a city okay um you know living in a city has has great advantages um but of course there's always going to be problems you know everywhere you are you go there are, um you know advantages and disadvantages so right now we're going to be talking about disadvantages so i'm going to be putting you in groups please do not be leaving <laughs> um I know there are some people that may not fully be with us, and then it's okay, but at least you can listen in, okay? So uh, don't leave, okay? Um, and I'm going to put you into groups. I will prop, I'll put you guys into group six, six groups? Sorry, sorry, three groups of six people, okay? Uh, or seven because I just, I just noticed that there are more people in the class, okay? Or you know what? No. Let's do, no, I, I've changed my mind. Um, since, hold on. No, no, sorry, okay. Yeah, well, no, we're gonna have enough for three only. Okay, so I'm gonna get you to work in three groups, but there are gonna be about um, six people approximately per group. And I want you to share your sentences with the class, okay, or with your group, okay? And I'll come around and help you guys if you have any questions. All right, so um, let's see. Let's um, let's get you into the groups right now. Okay. All right. I'm opening all the groups. You can go ahead and join your group.
Okay, um I have I have my sentence. Yes. Okay, okay. Um there are too many cars. Uh, there should be more pollution and if another there is no enough parking sorry for to and the, to you you want more pollution do, do you want I, pollution about pollution I, I can listen to you. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. I'm asking you, do you want more pollution? I uh, know I, I don't want. Oh, okay, then don't say there should be. Because there should be more pollution means debería de haber más eh, contaminación. Ah, yes, yes. So, eh, the correct sentence should be there are too much pollution. Not there are, but there is because pollution you cannot count. And with non counts, we use there are. Sorry, yes. Sorry, no, sorry. There is, there is. There is not too much pollution. Exactly. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, eh, there are not enough economic economic houses or apartment. Um, there are fewer natural natural areas. Um, there are less silent areas. There are more crowded areas um, and there are more bus stations. Just, just that. Okay, thank you for that. Continue everybody. Remember this okay. is a group discussion. Class, what happened to the others? I have a problem. Um, I did, I did eight sentences, but no about my neighbor. What did you do it about? Um, anyway, um, cualquier cosa. Um, Whatever. No? You did it on whatever. Yes. Uh, for example, uh, my love isn't enough for you. Uh, I need fewer chairs in my house. Um, I need to read more books. Uh, there is too many boxes, boxes in my house. She drinks too much water. Um, there are two pictures of slides, but we are three. There aren't enough pictures of slides for all. Uh, the sun is over. I need to buy more. I, I need to buy more. Okay, okay. Um, all right, try what you can do is um you you can try to to uh, at least make a few sentences using the structures that we just saw right now okay um so try it and um see if uh, what what can be done okay all right um i don't understand um so 
I, what I'm saying is that according to what we saw in class right now, try to make some sentences, okay? And the rest of you as well, I want, I want you to share because the whole idea of this, even if you didn't do it exactly like, um, even if we didn't do it exactly like uh, we have in, in the examples, it's okay, but share whatever you have, okay? And I'm gonna go and help the other groups, okay? So I hope everybody continues sharing, please, okay? Any questions before I leave? No. No, teacher. No. Okay. All right. See you in a bit. Okay. I have. Someone. Hello. 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 What do you say? I'm sorry. Do you have problems to write the sentence or do you have confused or no? With cont mm -hmm. cont and on cont No, I didn't have problem. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I was a little confused uh, in some sentences, but I put uh, more attention in uh, using the the formula, the formula, and some some sentences uh, use not not con noun and some sentences use con nouns. Uh, accord, according to the to the formula, uh, I I could to I could to make the sentences, but uh, it was a little confused for me. I know. Do you understand it now, though, or do you have any questions? We don't have any question. What well, for me? I don't know for for the rest. I don't. Have I don't have the question. Okay. Um. Did everybody share their sentences? Yes. Yes. Everybody has shared. Okay. All right. Well, in that case, um, try to talk about, like, give more, more ideas, like comment on what your classmates said, right? So maybe your classmates said something that you hadn't thought about, right? Maybe they mentioned about violence and you hadn't thought about violence, right? So um, I want you to have a discussion. Okay. So talk about things that are good and bad about uh, living in the city. Okay, if you live in the city, I think that there is less three Three. And I think Sorry, there is less what did you say, Sai? Three? I don't know. I don't know how to say it. Arbol es, es que la pronunciación no la sé. Oh, okay. Trees. 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 Mm, trees. Okay. And other problems is that we don't have water. Water. Sir. Okay, but I, I want I want you guys to have a discussion. So that's great. I, I I have some people that that are sharing their answers. That's great. But remember, not don't just listen 
but also comment oh yes I I, I agree or no I don't agree etc etc okay so I want to hear different opinions all right okay I'm going to go to the other group do you have any questions before I leave no teacher so teacher thanks okay I'll be I'll see you guys in a moment okay Um, it's a alivio, no sé, how do you say relief? I don't know, how do you say? Maybe, uh, alive. Uh-huh, I think, but I don't know. Yes. And the teacher is, is here? I think, I don't know. I am. Yes. A question? Hello, uh, Hello. Hello, teacher. And... I, I practice, but Luis, I don't know where he is. Sorry, could you repeat that? And we practice, but Luis, I don't know where he is because I I don't know. Le hablamos y no nos contesta. Oh, maybe he's having problems with the internet. Ah, okay. Luis, because are, you, are you there? Can you hear us? <laughs> yeah, he might have me having problems with the internet. Ah, okay. But everybody has shared their their sentences. Just yes, teacher. Okay. Good. Good. All right. I will see you in the main. Uh, room very soon, okay? Okay. Hey, we are here again. Yes, we're back to the main session. Okay, are we finished? With them? I think the majority of you are here, back here. Okay, good. Um, any questions about what we saw with our classmates? Anything that you, any uh, questions that rose when you were together with your group? No, teacher, I don't have questions. Okay. No question, teacher. So everything is clear? Yes, teacher. Yes. Yeah. Okay, good. So what I'm going to do right now, I'm going to um, show you once again uh, the last, the PowerPoint presentation. And this is the last slide from the PowerPoint presentation. So I want to know if you can all see if you can all see the PowerPoint presentation. I can see the presentation teacher. Me too. Okay, so I'm I'm guessing that exercises. Every... Mm -hmm. Yes, exactly. I can see the presentation. Okay, so uh, what I want you to do, we have two, six um, sentences here. So it says the city should provide more. We have too many. There's too much. There isn't enough. There should be fewer. And there should be less. 
So right now I want you to think about how would you complete these sentences, okay? I want you to um, complete them in your notebook. And if you have any, right now, in this moment, and if you have any questions, you, you can go ahead and ask me. And what is, does the meaning of provide, provide, I don't know. Provide is very similar to Spanish. It means to give. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Yes, that's correct, Esther. It is provide means proporcionar. You're right. So, um, so this, this, if you are not, if you're stuck, you don't understand, like, or what you can't think of anything to say, think about your city, your particular city. Each person lives in different cities, right? So I'm not going to say a specific city, right? But, you know, if you live in San Salvador, think about life in San Salvador. If you live in Santa Tecla, think about life in Santa Tecla, you know, wherever it is that you are familiar with. I want you to complete with that. Any questions so far? Questions about vocabulary? Uh, it's correct. It's correct. There should be less clean water. Um, there should be less means debería de haber menos. Right? So do you want less or more clean water? What do you think? Do you want more or less clean water? Uh, less. Debería de haber menos agua limpia? No, más agua limpia. Ah, okay. So, yeah, less yeah, or yeah, more? Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah, remember when you say there there should there should be less, we're talking about something that there is more than is needed. Okay? All right, I'm going to give you guys one more minute to finish off. Okay, all right. Um, I, I'm going to be asking different people to give me sentences, okay? So let's start with um, Sarai. Sarai, can you give me the first sentence, number one? Um, the city should provide more security. That sounds great, yes, very good. The city should provide more security. Good. Um, Let's, uh, let me ask Kelly. Kelly, can you give me another one for number one? We have too much milk in the refrigerator. Sorry, can you repeat that? We have too much milk in the refrigerator. Okay. Okay, is that number two or number three? Number two. Okay, number two says too many. Now, can we count milk? Kelly, is it possible to count milk? Uh, milk is not count. Exactly. Milk is non-count. So we would have to say we have too much, but not too many. In this one you have to complete with something that is non-countable. Sorry, so we, sorry, with something that is countable. So we can say we have sorry, too much. Search. It's okay. Go ahead. Try another one. Yes. Sorry, so maybe it can be we have too many apples in the refrigerator. That's great. Yes, very good. Just be careful. It's not, it's refrigerator. 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 Thank you. Uh, Marina, can you help me with number three? Okay, there is too much pollution. Very good. Okay, Glenda, number four. Okay, teacher. There isn't enough water. Very good. Okay, excellent. Number five, uh, Juan Carlos. Uh, there should be fewer dogs at the street. Sorry, could you repeat that? There should be fewer dogs at the street. Fewer dogs on the street. Very good. It sounds great. And the last one, um, anybody? C can you give number six? Last one, anybody? Can I try, teacher? Sure, go ahead. There should be less people smoking in the air. There should be less people smoking in the air. Okay. Um, <laughs> remember that people is countable, so we can use less. Uh, but you, you could say there should be less smoking, and that would be okay. Because smoking is non-count, so we can that, that would be okay. There should be less smoking in the air. Okay. Thank you. Good. All right, guys. That's excellent. 
All right, that's going to be all for today, guys. Um, I'm going to send you some more exercises for you to do um, in practice uh, on your own, and we'll check them out tomorrow, okay? All right, so that will be all for today, guys. Take care. See you ne See you tomorrow, okay? Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay, Good night. teacher. Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. Bye. Good night. Thank you, teacher.